Alright guys, Steven here with another video and in this video I'm gonna talk about 2009 Mr. Olympia lighting. I don't know about you guys, but I personally always found this Mr. Olympia to be kind of memorable. I mean, not only the lighting, but the fact that Jay Cutler came back and won his Mr. Olympia title once again. That was the only time in the history of bodybuilding that bodybuilder lost his Mr. Olympia title and regained it back. Also, this was the best year of Jay Cutler ever, it was his best edition by far. Some people would argue that 2001 was better, but I mean, he looked more fresh, that's true, his limbs looked bigger and his waist looked smaller, but the conditioning wasn't as good as it was in 2009, because 2009 was 8 years later, and you know, with age, your skin gets thinner and your conditioning or muscle maturity gets better. Jay Cutler lost his title in 2008 against Dexter Jackson, who actually placed third in 2009 Mr. Olympia, but the second guy, the runner-up, was Branch Warren, and Branch was not <laughs> very happy for being second, he probably expected to win this show, as you can notice by his sour facial expression, but that was definitely his best year as well. I mean, it wasn't the best year for him as far as aesthetics go, he was much more aesthetically pleasing when he was younger, but as far as conditioning and muscular development, you cannot argue. You cannot argue with the logic. This was his best year ever. Just take a look at his glutes, his quads when he turns around and it's his lats. Look at this back. This, his back was his biggest weakness, but this year it looked thick as hell. Here you can take a look at his quads, which are something that he was known for and they looked absolutely peeled and dry and huge, full, everything was oh, one of the best wheels ever. Definitely some of the best quads in the history of the world, but also his chest was looking great. In my opinion, after Arnold and few other guys, Branch Warren is the person with best chest development ever. And I know that most people don't really like his physique, especially in the later years, but when he was younger and he looked fresh, he looked amazing and he is one of my favorite bodybuilders of all time, especially because of his training intensity and the look of his physique, which looked so grainy, hard. When he would come peeled, he would look like he was carved out of marble. And aside from his great legs and chest, he was definitely known for amazing conditioning and crazy graininess, but his back wasn't his best body part and it probably costed him this Mr. Olympia. There were the other guys like Kai Green, who became very popular a bit later, there was Victor Martinez, who is 2007 uncrowned Mr. Olympia, there you also had Phil Heath, who became 7 time Mr. Olympia later, and of course there were Jay Cutler and Branch Warren, placing first and second. But let me talk about the lighting a little bit more. So, I don't know about you guys, but this lighting kind of seemed yellowish to me. It didn't look like all the other lightings that we saw in the years before or later. I don't know how much you know about competing, but there are a couple of colors that you can get, and there is the one that bodybuilders always use, and that is pretty much the only one that is allowed in IBB Pro and that would be Pro Tan. But there is another one as well and it is called Dream Tan. And the difference is Pro Tan kind of gives you dark look, but Dream Tan kind of gives you that bronze or golden look. As far as I know, Dream Tan was forbidden in IBB. I know that Rich Piana was talking about that and he said that judges did not accept Dream Tan, but he always chose that one because his body looked better with Dream Tan. I don't know, maybe that was the reason why Rich never became a professional bodybuilder, but something was definitely different at this year's Mr. Olympia. Was it the lighting thing, was it the tan thing, or the combination of both? I have no idea, but if you have any other insights, please let me know in the comment section below. All I am saying is that this year's Mr. Olympia had different lighting from all other Mr. Olympias before and later, actually. You could see that these bodybuilders look kind of yellowish, especially the white guys, like Branch Warren and Jay Cutler, and these black guys, they also looked kind of yellowish, and you can see that Dexter Jackson looked kind of green, almost. <laughs> I don't know why is that, but I guess it seems like that. It's probably a combination of his natural tan and this lighting, or the color, whatever it was. And to be quite honest, I really like this lighting, and I would like to see this lighting more often, actually. Another thing that I noticed about it is that 
maybe, I'm not sure about this, but maybe it seems like there was another lighting from below, not only from above. I don't know if it was there during the comparison rounds, but as far as free posing routines, it is pretty obvious. If you take a look at this pose of Branch War and his free posing routine, you can see that the shadow is on his upper chest, not the lower chest. You can pretty much notice the same thing on his forearms, quads, pretty much his whole body. So yeah, this was definitely the case. And I don't think we saw something like this pretty much ever in the history of Mr. Olympia. So this Mr. Olympia had very, very different lighting from any other Mr. Olympia ever. However, this was also the year when Quad Stomp, famous Quad Stomp pose of Jay Cutler was actually created. And this is one of the most memorable photos of bodybuilders ever. And if you think that 2001 was best year of Jay Cutler, just take a look at his quads. <laughs> Were they this defined, this detailed in 2001? Not even close. Not even close, man. I mean, just take a look at these quads. The striations, the separations. This is looking perfect. This is perfect quadricep muscle. I mean, sure, Tom Platz had better legs, but he wasn't nearly as defined as Jay. And sure, he didn't have the biggest quad sweep, neither was his inner part of the thigh as developed as it could be. But you must agree that these details on his quads are the best ever. Was it simply his conditioning or was it the lighting? <laughs> I'm not sure, but definitely one of the most memorable Mr. Olympias ever. So that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching and make sure to like the video and also subscribe if you haven't already. By the way, that Q&A is happening tomorrow. I'm filming it tomorrow. I'm gonna edit it maybe in like a day or two. So thank you very much and see you soon. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.